Well, Gary, round three, and what can we say other than another really good solid performance by our boys as they overcame Richmond by 30 points and continued their undefeated start to the season? I understand you might not have been overly impressed with the finish. However, I'm sure if you were offered a five-goal victory on Saturday morning, you certainly would have taken that. Yeah, that's true, Sam. And obviously, considering Richmond had won, I think, almost uh, their last six games from last year, and then, of course, they were certainly going for three in a row this year. So they're probably one of the more improved sides in the comp. And what it does say about us is there's a really a lot to like. And I guess the other thing is that you've got to admire our group because we had to go and train at Frankston on Wednesday night and their resolve and their resilience as a team is uh, something that I'm very, very proud of as a coach. So we keep continuing to do the right things and there's always refinements and certainly we could finish just a little bit better. But overall, there was a lot of good things to like from both sides, really. And... Um, to get another a win on the board is extremely important for uh, momentum and steps in the right direction. Uh, we're now three weeks into the season proper and from the outside it seems as if the areas that needed to be addressed at the end of last year have been well rectified so far and some of the fruits of your recruiting labour are certainly blooming at this early stage with the likes of Templeton, Murdoch and Viojo Rainbow among our uh, most con consistent performers thus far. Yeah, that's true. And look, obviously, it's all about identifying and also to rectifying what we think we need to do, as in do well, but then do better. And yeah, the summer was really, really long and hard, as you know, with the way we went about our recruiting. And we have to do that anyway. We identified areas that we need improvement in. And all those guys that we recruited, they were all for specific purposes. But that's not also to, to get away from the self-development from within the group. And obviously, you always need a little bit of luck. Uh, injuries certainly can be thereabouts, as we saw on the weekend with young Tommy Hobbs copping a fair bit of friendly fire from Scotty Clark and Jeremy Gleeson hurting his hamstring. So we're always very, very, very keen on making sure that we get some sort of, I guess, chemistry and uh, just consistency about what we do as a team. And certainly at the minute, we're getting that from both groups. And just on the Development League, another really good solid performance by them too. They're uh, also undefeated and seem to, be, seem to be benefiting from the increased depth of our playing list this year. Some pretty impressive names running around in that side at the moment and that competition for spots can only prove to be healthy for everyone moving forward. Yeah, well, it's got to be because you really don't want to leave it up to the coach to uh, have to make calls on selection because players aren't really in form. And I think right at this point in time, there is a lot of guys who are in form. So that makes my job somewhat more difficult. And we know there's guys who can come in and improve the side. Obviously, it's up to the senior 23 that play each week to make sure that they're doing as much as they can to actually force, I guess, the development team to continue to play well. So the internal pressure is always at its greatest from within the group and uh, there shouldn't be really outside injuries. Those changes that I have to make should be very much more difficult because of the consistent nature and uh, the confidence the guys have in one another. And this week we're off to Frankston in a unique once-off game, if you like, against the Bombers. Uh, what are going to be some of the key focus areas on the track uh, entering that game against what is going to be yet another uh, challenging opposition for our boys? Yeah, keep working on our ball movement, Sam. I think that's really important. There's no doubt we've made some steps forward in that area. We certainly, from about probably halfway through the third quarter on Saturday, I feel got our game going and we need to keep playing that for longer periods. So the opposition do find it extremely difficult to play against. I think 59 inside 50s from the opposition is too many and we don't want to have to be defending and certainly starting our launch pad from down deep in defence. So I think that's an area where we can get better as in our shot selection, also to the options that we go to inside our 50, whether they're shallow, whether they're deep, and certainly just our overall consistency with our ball movement because a lot of the scores today are about turnovers and we really don't want to be working really, really hard as we are right at this minute and then obviously giving the ball back to the opposition. So I guess there's a balance between pressure but also to control and um, just keep building on what we've been doing for the last month, which has been really, really good. Well, Gary, thanks for your time. Uh, congratulations once again on the win on Saturday and enjoy the build-up to another big game this weekend. Yeah, thanks, Sam.